behind the scenes. That's what I'm looking at. Are there any limits to legal immigration? Fascinating. Most interesting. The progressive revolution. From democratic to liberal to progressive to socialist. Well, what else do we got in the news? Butelkrieg. Capitalism has a lot more people... Has a lot of, yeah, capitalism has let a lot of people down. Democracy is more important than capitalism. Wow. Good luck with that one. Um, for Democrats, Khilon Khomar is a complicated figure to defend. And yet, they do. Uh, let's see. Why civility protects Dan Crenshaw, but not Elam Omar? Interesting. Lots of good stuff today. Progressive socialists defend the indefensible again. Hmm. What else? Oh, hey! Paris needs Notre Dame. Donations to rebuild Notre Dame Cathedral near $1 billion. Wait a minute. That's good news. Am I actually going to discuss good news today? Yes, yes I am. Uh, and we might even get into the Wayback Machine. We'll have to see how this unfolds. Paris needs Notre Dame. Donations to rebuild Notre Dame Cathedral near a billion dollars. Hello and welcome to the Tea Party Hardy Channel, where the party is just getting started. Current events looked at through a skeptical eye using science, history, and sometimes humor to explore the events of the day. Let's get down to business. Don't worry. Help is on the way. Paris, Notre Dame Cathedral, was perhaps only minutes away from total destruction. Why am I doing a Russian accent? From total destruction when Monday's blaze swept through the medieval building, authorities said. At least 30 fire trucks, vehicles, and even boats on Paris River responded quickly to the blaze, most reaching the scene within 12 minutes, according to French firefighters. That's interesting because it was also reported it took them two hours to start squirting water. So I don't know how that's going to play out. What's really interesting is if you get deep into this, way, way deep. Oh, so sad. Really, really is. Uh, now, there's a number in here that just can not be right. Oh, let's do the money. Outside the landmark on Wednesday, there were fewer onlookers than in recent days, but Crowds of residents and tourists were still snapping selfies and taking pictures of what they could glimpse of the church's exterior from outside the security zone. It's like something you see in the movies, said Liam McDuff, who's 15, a student from a nearby school, who marveled at the activity. Yeah, that's because movies do a really good job, actually. The cost to completely repair the church will reach one Point thirteen billion dollars to two point three billion dollars, according to Stephen Byrne, who heads the heritage renovation programs across France. I just think it's impressive they're able to throw out numbers so very, <clears throat> so very quickly. It it just seems. What are you basing that on? I'm I'm guessing those are rough numbers, and it would be nice if they included that in the article. Byrne said that about Byrne. Wow, that is an ironic name. Seriously, an ironic name. Byrne said, or would you say it's poetic? Poetic just as ironic? I don't know. It could go either way. It's always the problem with poetic versus ironic. Byrne said about $995 million was raised in just a day and a half from French businesses, leaders, and ordinary worshippers at home and abroad. The French government is gathering donations and setting up a special office to deal with them. Okay, nine hundred ninety-five million is um, five million away from a billion. So, yay, they're almost there, at least for the first half. Uh, let's see. Oh, don't want to look at that picture. It's so sad. It reminds me of nine eleven. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Emily Bessie, forty-three, a tourist from Maine, took photos Wednesday from a vantage point that gives a view where four hundred thousand firefighters doused water on the cathedral's destroyed spire. 400,000 firefighters? I'm pretty sure that's a, temp, uh, a, a typo. For, picture that. If a football stadium is completely full with 100,000, you've got firefighters from... No! And look at They said there were only 40 trucks. That is a... What is that? 10,000... 
10 times that, that'd be 40. No, that's 100,000 firefighters for each fire truck. That had better be a typo. Just kind of terrifying. Okay, look, um, I said this is going to be good news. It is going to be good news. And here's how they say the fire started. 6.50, the fire starts up here. Times are local and approximate. And then you get down to this. This is just kind of a cool graphic over at USA Today. I highly recommend you checking out if this isn't satisfactory to you. 7.05 p.m. Fire spreads rapidly across the roof. Well, that makes sense. It's wood. It's 500 years old plus. Toward the cathedral spire. 7.53. The burning spire collapses. Everybody goes, ooh, ah, yuck. Very, very sad. Then at 11 o'clock, let's see, do we have another time? Yeah. The cathedral roof collapses in flames at 8.07. The fire is extinguished and the cathedral has been saved and preserved as a whole at 11 o'clock. <clears throat> yeah. It's got a hole, all right. Big old hole up top. And we're going to get into the technical stuff in just a second. Okay, here we go. Uh, lead tiles, five millimeters thick. Wood timber framing. You can see they did a cutaway there. The roof structure cons uh, consisted of stone in the inner nave and large oak beams weighing 210 tons. That's 420 pounds to you and me above. Framed with lead panels. Okay, here's the deal. So it's really good news that we have the donations coming in to redo that. That is exciting. It is good news on top of the horrific news of it being gone. What I want to discuss here beyond the good news is the the trick going forward, which is this. When you go to rebuild something this old, you have to debate, do we make it a replica? Do we do it new? I think in this case, to do it new would be... What's this? Attorney General William Barlow. Oh, okay, fascinating. Anyways, so to, to do it new would be the epitome of tacky, so I don't think they're going to do that. But we lose technology as time goes on for different reasons. We don't know how the Romans made concrete. We know how we made concrete. We don't know how they made concrete. There are many things from the past in relationship to construction and even chemical compositions that were handed down as trade secrets. In the modern world, Coca-Cola fits into this category where things are handed down as trade secrets. And if somebody along that line dies that is holding the trade secret and they die, you lose that technology. So we've got... A lo another example from history would be uh, a specific one is from George Washington's time. Uh, the spies that he had working for him were using a form, a chemical form of invisible ink that we still have not been able to figure out what they were using. We kind of guess, and it's weird because we think we can reverse engineer anything. Yeah, no, we really can't. We we're, we can reverse engineer, but we can't do it to the specificity. Oh, I just did it wrong. Sorry. Um, that allows for an exact replication. So what I'm saying is with this. We don't know if we can actually rebuild this. We don't know if we have the craftsmen, the architects, that have the knowledge of how to do something like this because we haven't done anything like this in a long time, hundreds of years. So the craft might well have been lost. I heard it argued on a podcast that we can't go back to the moon using the uh, technology that we had in the 1960s because we literally don't have that technology anymore. We don't have the factories. We don't have all the blueprints. We we can't go back to the moon in the same form that we did originally because we don't have the knowledge to do it anymore. The people that had that knowledge died and they didn't leave behind a well enough documented way to do it. Or we don't have those documents. It's a combination of all those things. And that was only in the 1960s. And now they want to redo a building from 500 years ago? It's just, it's mind fascinating. It's really mind fascinating. And, you know, when it comes to the stuff that's inside that they lost, the handcrafted skilled items of the statues or the the windows that are stained glass, those are all particular skills. That's like saying, hey, I want to redo Leonardo da Vinci's fill in the blank. Yeah, not unless you're Leonardo da Vinci. I mean, you can come close with a replica, but you can't actually redo it. So we're not 100% sure we know how to do this. We'll find out in time. 
But for those of you that haven't ever like delved into this realm of can we still do what we used to do? Um, and, you know, if you watch TV, it's like, oh, we're so much smarter than people in the olden days. No, we're not. No, we're not. We are smart for our times, and they were smart for their times. They would be tripped up in our time, and we would be just as tripped up in their time. One of the, the biggest fallacies out there is Mark Twain's uh, Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. He knows a few tricks that makes him look like a demigod. But in real life, if you were to be transported back 600 years ago, could you... Do you know how to use the bathroom? Do you know what a bathroom is 600 years ago? Do you know what it looks like? I mean, obviously, you have some idea what it might smell like. But something as simple as going to the bathroom 600 years ago. Do you really think you could do it and not look totally freaking lost as much as somebody from 600 years ago coming to today and saying, Oh, excuse me, I've, I, I, re I need to relieve myself. And, you know, they would be lost trying to figure out how to use the bathroom of today. Do you... Oh, listener, possible subscriber, do you know what a bathroom looked like 600 years ago? See the problem? We're not, we lose technology as fast as we gain it. Ben Franklin used to rag on it a lot. He's like, we're losing so much. And he's right. He's absolutely right. Okay, and we're going to end it at that because we just wanted to do something um, really positive and something from a different spot. We hope you enjoyed it. And we will catch you in the future. We'll, we'll try and producing these. It's just really hard with the work schedule we have right now. But we... Hey, by the way, if you like it and you want to subscribe and you want to share it, cool. Um, and we will get them out as fast as we can and as often as we can. And you've seen all the cool things that I'd like to go over, but I just want to do something really nice today. So, have a lovely day. See you in the future.